Hi, welcome to the New Wave Cooking Club. I'm Jennifer, the executive chef for New Wave Oven. And today we are going to address the boxed brownies. I get so many complaints about this, so I'm going to do it and show, show you how I do it and how it works. So very simply, take your favorite box mix, just follow the directions, the amounts. We've got oil, we've got water. When I break an egg, I break it into a container so that if I get any shells, I can easily get them out, pour that in. Now, if you do get a shell and it sticks in there, just take your egg, stick it in, and it will act like a magnet and the shell comes right out. Stick that in. Just give it a little toss like this before we add our beater mixer to it so it doesn't fly all over. All right. Start it out on low. And if you're beating by hand, you know, just follow the directions how many times you have to, to beat it. And I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Now, the more air that you incorporate when you're mixing brownies or cake batter, the fluffier it will be. So then we're going to give it one on high. All right. Now we have two pans that I do them in at home. I have our 10 inch baking pan, which comes in our extender ring kit. That I do everything from cakes to brownies, to casseroles, to scrambled eggs. Great thing to have. Um, when I do brownies in here, I actually cut them like in slices like a pie, kind of different. And then over here, we have some brownies already done. And I did it in a, be careful, they're gonna be hot. I did it in a metal eight by eight. And the metal, if you use glass, you're gonna have to add three to four minutes. But on the metals, it's gonna take about 42 minutes. That's what this cooked at. Let them sit, let them totally cool off. Take a toothpick, and if it comes out clean, but do it in other areas also. Comes out clean, we're ready to go. All right, back to this. Just give it a spray, follow directions on the box. You're going to put your batter right in. I also do these in muffin cups too. I like little individual brownies. So get creative and do, do whatever you want. All right, and then I just let it go down a couple times and get the air bubbles out. One inch rack. We're gonna place our oven. Power level high, make sure it's secure. Cook time, oh, 42. Start, touch and go, as easy as that. Now, while these are cooking, I wanna show you, I've, you know, these are a little bit hot, but I'm gonna show you how nice and done they are. Let's cut it right. Now, you always know that the first brownie never comes out perfectly the way you want it. Or maybe it does. Got a nice, and it's moist, but it's not gooey. Let's, let's see if we can get another one out there, just so I can show you. See how beautifully nice and done? So this is a fudge brownie mix, and they came out great. 42 minutes, let it sit, cool down. And then instead of icing them all, I just put some icing in a pastry bag and give it a little squirt or some powdered sugar. Ice them, totally cool. Wait till they're totally cooled and ice them down, and you've got your box brownie mix. Until next time. <laughs>